welcome to our Shia lesson on Shia. Just to remind you a bit before I give you a question, I have here a grid showing uh, rectangle A, B, C, D with a point E along A, P. So if this figure undergoes shear, okay, if this figure undergoes shear, okay, now what does it mean? It just leans on one side, okay? You lean on one side. Now, the point moves proportionately depending on how far that point is from the invariant line. So I've taken this to be my invariant line. The whole of this is my invariant line. And that is my invariant line, okay? Now, what you need to know here is, look at this. The movement made parallel to invariant line, the movements the points make parallel to the invariant line, those movements, when you divide by the vertical height, how far is that point from invariant line, you get what I will call scale factor. Okay? So in this case, B to B prime, if I divide that movement over the vertical distance, AB, then you get scale factor. Similarly, if this point E moved to E prime, so this movement, when you divide by the height, how far E is from invariant line, you get scale factor. Those two are very important points. Okay? Now, what next must we know? That points below invariant line move in the opposite direction. You borrow this from uh, the Kroba system, the lever system in physics. If this is point K, if point K moved up and this is our fulcrum, then point L will move down. But all points from Farakram to K, all this will tend to move up proportionately. Okay? You can see. Then, there. then this crowbar will be like that. That means these ones also moved in the opposite direction proportionately then you can have that. So this will re represent, this represent the movements up on one side of the fulcrum. But we tend to call this invariant line, as it is, is invariant point. But if at least two lie on that line, then we call it invariant line. But this is now our invariant point. You can see the points on the right hand side moved up. Now, the points which are on opposite, that is FL, opposite of fulcrum, they do also the opposite. If these ones moved up, these ones moved down. So this is very important for you to know in shear. Then the shear matrices will be in the form of 1, 0, K1, that is scale factor K, Okay, and this is movement parallel to the x-axis. Then you have 0, 1, diagonal 1. This is k. This is parallel to the y-axis. These are very easy to understand. Go through them and back, give them a backup. Okay, so next lesson I'll show you something that is from KMF so that you see the key thing. The key points I'm talking about here. Okay? If you want to understand, you concentrate. Movement of a point parallel to the invariant line divided by its vertical distance. So that point must be away from invariant line by some magnitude. 
okay maybe two boxes three boxes four boxes so once you know this then you apply it to other points taking care that if points are on one side of the invariant line if they are going to move to the right then the points below the invariant line will move to the left so i will show you in a short while in lesson two this was shear l1 lesson one bye bye